I saw a post yesterday or a couple days ago that was like something about not feeling pain finally and all these comments were like yeah you just kind of have to suffer through that you know just work through the pain and you know it'll get better you just have to you know deal with it that is not actually how this works um you should not be feeling pain almost ever you know as you can tell i'm kind of into big crazy masochistic chords and um you know, I, that's something I've, I've certainly worked on to, to not feel any pain, but I kind of want to talk about a couple things that I find are really common in a lot of my students or the people that I, I see playing that do complain of um, pain. So the first thing that's, that's super huge and invariably is almost always the case when you feel pain in your left hand is actually how much pressure you're applying with your thumb. It's really the big thing. So if I'm teaching someone and they, they say, I'm you know having trouble playing my bar chords, like it really, it's really hurting, I ask them, on a level from one to 10, how hard are you pressing with your left thumb? Usually they're like, oh, it's like a nine or a 10. And I'm like, well, that's the problem. You know, the thumb's role is to support our fingers and support the guitar. And you know, we should think of it not as this like clamping, you know, we always kind of tend to think like, oh, we want, we want to play a big bar chord, we want to play something hard, we have to squeeze harder, right? That squeezing term kind of really messes with our head because our whole hand cramps up. And then, you know, if I'm pressing hard like that, my whole forearm is actually tensing up, which is why, you know, people say, oh, I have this pain like shooting up all the way to my shoulder. Well, everything is connected. Once your hand goes like this, it gets rigid, all these muscles are activated, it just keeps going up and up and up, which is obviously really gonna hurt. So, the thing I would say about the thumb, you know, I try to keep it not too high, not too low. Again, this is sort of subjective sometimes, just depending on the chord or the player, um, but I do try to keep it somewhat uh, in the middle. And my first step, when I'm, when I'm telling someone about the thumb and how to um, eliminate this, is to try to play just even one note without the thumb at all. To see what kind of pressure your left hand needs without the thumb. So I don't have my thumb at right, on right at all. But I can still play. Okay, at first, it's gonna feel really weird. You're like, ah, I need the thumb, but you really don't. And just, kind of figure out how much pressure your left hand is exerting to make each note happen and realize that you don't need the thumb to execute this. Now, then I would say, you know, try to do like a D chord or a C chord, G, you know, all these basic chords. It's going to feel super, super weird. So again, the other thing that helps you is especially if you have a guitar strap on, the guitar is literally, it's resting against my body. I don't need to hold it. The other issue is that we're so, we're so um, apt to thinking that we need to hold the guitar or it's gonna fall, but the strap kind of takes care of all that gravity for us. So just let the guitar rest on you however you want to um, and kind of let gravity do its work. So your fingers are kind of falling into the guitar anyway. So let that weight, the inherent weight help you out as opposed to you know trying to force it all. So once you're able to maybe play a D chord or just one note, I would say add the thumb, but like barely press. So it's not really doing much, it's just barely pressing down. And then from there, so I would say it's like at a one or two as far as the thumb scale. And I'm pressing a little more, okay, I'm gonna get to like a four or a five, and that's kind of where I wanna be at all the time. Now it feels grounded, it feels really nice, but now I'm not, you know, just pressing super, super hard. And then, you know, you do that with your bar chords. Try to do a bar chord without your thumb. That's gonna be very difficult at first. Or try to do it with as little pressure as you can. Sometimes you might not be able to get the sound out. That's okay. Um, you just wanna add pressure little by little with the thumb until the notes start sounding clearly. Then you can do all sorts of crazy stuff eventually.